Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. You may remember at the end of last episode, we were having some issues with going into a vault. So I have a crystal here with the right modifiers on it. I did talk with Iskull, and hopefully this will work. If not, I'm going to try a couple other things. Apparently, this is an issue that he was not familiar with and that he hadn't run into before. So we don't know if this fix, uh, he had me delete some files. I don't know if it'll actually work, but there's only one way to find out. Shall we? Hey, it actually worked. Okay. Gilded fast, hunger, frail, and trapped. What is frail? Durability damage. Okay. So it did work, which is good. Um, I mean, that's a thing. It's That seemed to have fixed it. I had to delete a couple of files from my directory. I don't remember exactly what they were off the top of my head, but uh, since it worked, maybe I'll look that up after the vault is done. Uh, and we're on Gilded, so... Die, please? Oh, that... No, I, I've already got my, part, my pouch. Okay, we're good. All right, well, shall we uh, do a little vault exploration and see what we can find. I think that would be a good idea. All right, we do have a boss obelisk, but I don't think that this is a random thing here. Uh, time? Sure. I will take this stuff. Um, I mean, we already have fast, so the vault timer is already reduced, so I don't know that I necessarily want to do it again, but with that said... I'm also not overly concerned about spending, you know, essentially a single... Ow. Um, yep. Okay. Well, you destroyed the chest. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Person Thing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, I'm not super worried about missing out on a couple of minutes because, like, is, is, like, every single room just this room? This is the only room I've seen so far. Okay, here we go. Finally, something different. Um, uh, I was beginning to grow a tiny bit worried. I gotta make a vault magnet, by the way. I keep forgetting about it. But that would be very helpful for looting various things. Uh, let's try going this way. I have no idea where I'm actually going, but we do have a waypoint to get us back. Hey, it's the Western Village. Okay. Okay, it, is, it exploded on me. Oh, hi. Um, what is this thing? Faucet from Supplementaries? I don't know what that actually does, but maybe it's good? Okay, we're going up. Uh-oh. All right, well, that didn't go very well. I am finding some gilded chests, which is good. Okay, creepers. All right, you're dead. Oh, hi, another gilded chest. And it appears my inventory is not in a great spot right now. Let's uh, just pop into this room. There's actually like a bunch of gilded chests right there, which is pretty great. But we're going to need some inventory space to actually take advantage of it. Are they dropping down from above? They are. Wow, that's a really good chest. Okay, uh, close that. Y'all can stay over there. There are no chests in here. I feel very ripped off. <laughs> I've been had. Um, and this room? This is a bit better. Ow. What stupid spider. Oh, hi. So now the only part that's left, ow, is this little bit down here. And then we will have pretty much fully explored this room. Okay. Oh, goodness. That was very, very close and not in a good way. Okay, another gift. Man, these gilded chests. This has been a really good vault, honestly. Like, you really can't complain. Okay. Uh, I'm complaining. It's an explodey chest. Water? Okay. I have successfully extinguished myself. So you probably have time for, like... A couple more rooms, maybe? Not too many, but... Okay. Um, 
that was not great. It definitely did not mean to fall there. Okay. Yo, get the baby zombie, please. Okay, what are you? 54 levels? That's so many levels. I do spy, with my little eye, a couple of gilded chests. I mean, to be fair, we did have a gilded modifier, so, like... It's not really surprising that we've got so many gilded chests, but still. Ooh, village room. Okay, so I think, I think we just dig down right away. And there is a portal. We're not going to, we're probably not even going to be able to fully loot this room, but we'll just have to do like the best that we can. Um, I will go up here. Okay. Leave me alone. Yo, get off of me, dude. Do that. Oh, come on. All right. So just take all the things. And then we're probably leaving. Like, this is so many good chests all in one place that, like... Nope, I need that. Time. We got two minutes. We should have... Okay. Oh, this is bad. Uh, well, now that our idol's gone, uh, we're, we're leaving. That's the plan. We've gotten so much good stuff. And we're low on time anyway. I think we are just getting out of here as quickly as we can. We should be okay. We have, like, just over a minute to get back. So as long as we don't get stuck on anything, we should be fine. Should be this room, like, right up here. Come on, we can... Yeah, we should be good, right? 43. All right, where is the exit? Right over here. Not even going to bother eating food. All right, we've done it. That was a great vault. We got tons of loot. Let me get it sorted out, and let's see what we got. Okay, I think I got it all sorted out. So we'll go uh, worst to best. So we got a bunch of blocks, and most of this stuff doesn't matter, but getting a bunch of diorite uh, and other compressed things to use to make more crystals is always useful. Like, three times compressed? That's a lot of diorite. Like, not bad for one block as you can see. <laughs> so no complaints there. Uh, and then we've got, you know, compressed cobble, comp there's all sorts of compressed blocks. Pretty good. And here, this is all the vanilla stuff. Uh, Nether Star could be useful, I suppose, if that comes up. Uh, some more Wither Skeleton Skulls, nothing too crazy here. Those splash potions, though, are most definitely supposed to be in my potion box. So that's fine. Uh, some various vanilla ores and things. And then the most important chest. Here we have our loot that's actually related to vaults. So first thing you may notice right off the bat is we got a whole bunch of vault gear. Just, like, tons of it. Uh, which is fantastic. So, uh, time for, well, a bunch of rolling. Let's see what we get. It's gonna be a lot of different things. All right, well, we got a idol that's pretty good. It's scrappy, but it does give me hunger immunity, and it has two levels. So that's our new idol, since we used yet another one in this vault. We got, ooh, very good boots. Very good boots. Plus one speed. I will gladly take that uh, over durability. This one is... Uh, doesn't have any levels, though. This one does have levels. 
but also has worse armor than our current boots. We've got a chest plate with additional armor. And armor toughness, okay. We've got one with knockback resistance. Again, meh. Helmet. These are pretty much identical. This one... Which one's... Which one's armor and which... Uh, is the, the .08, is that maybe your resistance? That's your armor toughness. Okay. So actually... These are three... Yeah, so same amount of armor. So the first number in the upper left of the tooltip is, is the actual armor value. Then the other one's armor toughness. So, five, five, three. So these should both be better, protection-wise, than this one. And... These are probably just going to be worse than this. It really depends on what the levels give them. Still, though, idols an upgrade, the boots, I'd say, are an upgrade, and the armor will probably be an upgrade as well. So, not complaining about that. Those are all fine and good. We also got some merchants. Vault gold for an enchanted golden apple. A notch apple, basically. Vault silver for oak drawers. Interesting. And these are actually the same, just different prices. Now, I don't know if I can actually use those. But if I can, let's find out. I, I want to know if I can place these down. I know I haven't unlocked the mod yet to actually do this or to actually like make use of storage drawers. But if I can place this thing down without actually unlocking the mod first, just having a couple of storage drawers, like one for, I don't know, cobblestone or something could be like really good. So, let's just say one. Can I place this? I totally can. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Well, that's amazing then. And the other thing too is that, uh, I don't know if it actually shows the recipe. But an oak drawer isn't like super cheap. You're talking two gems. Which, like, the Benetai gems aren't, like, super bad or anything like that, but, it's, I mean, for each drawer, you're talking a fair amount of wood and two gems, so, like, being able to just spend vault silver, which really isn't that hard to come by, is pretty great. We also got a bunch of vault diamonds. We got uh, the armor that we already talked about, some other various vault gems, a couple black opals, which is pretty lucky. Some mystery boxes and some booster packs. Let's do the mystery boxes first. Looks like, uh, nothing too notable. Power bar's useful, I guess. And a bunch of relic booster packs that do nothing. Okay. So, yeah. Really good vault, all in all. This is the thing, though, that I think I am most interested in, is the Star Essence. Because this is what should allow us to craft another Knowledge Star, which I think I can actually do... Uh, that's supposed to go in here, which I think I can actually do right now. I think I have the stuff to do it. So if we grab all of this Star Essence... Did I not grab a... Didn't I have... Or maybe it was purchasable. Maybe it, it wanted me to purchase the thing instead. Either way, do one of these. And then one more. There we go. Let's grab this stuff real quick. What was it? Like, vault gold? Vault silver? Like, didn't I have... Uh, you can buy it in here? Yeah, three vault gold for a star core. Which really is not that bad. Like, it's a fair amount, obviously. But star cores are very expensive. And I am perfectly content. Oh, look at that. Even better. One star core. 
or one uh, gold for a star core. So that's even better. But there we go. We've got our knowledge star. And now we can unlock an additional mod. Now, Danks, which is the next thing that I want to actually get, uh, is two research points and I only have one. So one more decorative mod. I guess we'll just get fairy lights. And now Danks will only cost one research point to make uh, or to unlock. So the next knowledge star that we get is going to allow us to make Danks, which should make looting vaults considerably easier. Uh, so let me get this stuff put away. Oh, also, I should probably mention, someone told me that if I want to be a little bit less narcissistic, I can take my statue and turn it into a normal-sized one, like so, by just putting it on uh, in a crafting table like that. And now I will still be making white wool, which is what I was making before. It'll still work exactly the same. The only difference is uh, it's not going to take up, you know, nearly as much space, which I think will be good. Uh, so let me get this stuff all put away and then we'll move on. All right, my friends, a little bit of a progress update for you. So I went ahead and I enchanted the idol with unbreaking. And then I also enchanted the new chest plate and the new boots as well. So uh, wearing these in comparison to our netherite armor, netherite armor uh, full set gives us seven uh, little chest plates of armor. Putting all of this on gets us up to eight and a half, which is obviously better. And we get the one level of speed as well, which honestly is really good just for getting around the vault faster. Uh, I think, honestly, I might, that, that might be the next thing that I spend uh, a skill point on. If we look in here, there is speed. Well, hmm, it is going to be four, <laughs> four skill points to do that. But that is actually like fairly doable. I mean... We, d I mean, we do have a lot of like burger pieces. We could, we could make 40 burgers, which would give us a lot. Um, <laughs> it's very tempting, but at the same time, like, do we really want to do that? I don't know. Cause these, I don't know how many burgers it would take. Like we'll be able to get up to, we'd, I, I bet if we made 40 burgers, we could probably get up to like level three. 35 or so I think I'm probably better off just saving these because it does take longer and it takes more and more experience to level up your vault level every time you do it uh, and these always give you a set percentage if you make a single vault burger like so it gives you 0 to 3% of the required experience to level up. So that would mean we need to eat what? At least 33? Like, and that's being very generous. Uh, that, that's assuming that we would always rolled like the highest possible amount. So you're talking, you need like at least half a stack to get you up to where you want to go. Like you can see, it's just a tiny little, about, a tiny little bit there. I don't know. I think it's better to save these. What's the crystalline? Oh, crystalline burgers for your eternals. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Uh, we could, as our next skill point, get... Um, actually, I think it's over here. Yeah, summon eternal. Eternals are like NPC buddies that you can, like... Like the like a familiar, essentially, that you can summon inside the vault. And they'll follow you around, they can level up, they can have vault gear, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so this is actually like a really powerful skill. The thing is, in order to get an Eternal, you gotta make a Cryo Chamber. And to make a Cryo Chamber, you need a Pog, which requires a whole bunch of different gems. And I don't actually have all of these. I'm missing one of these guys and one of these guys. I have all the rest. Uh, but that's definitely something we're going to want to do uh, as soon as we're able to as well. Because Eternals are really good. Uh, one thing that I do want to take care of, though, before I forget about it yet again, is I want to make a vault 
Magnet. And there's a few different versions of this guy. So if we look at magnets, there's the weak volt magnet, and then there's the strong volt magnet, and then there's the omega volt magnet. Now the omega volt magnet uh, requires you to actually unlock the volt blacksmith right down here. Um, and yeah, I, 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 we want to do Danks first. So that one is kind of off the table, but we could go for a strong magnet. The magnet core itself isn't really that hard to make. You need two weak magnet cores, and then uh, you need a perfect Wutadai gem, which is just four of these guys. That's easy enough. The thing is, this requires an Echo gem. And I do have a couple, but I don't know that I necessarily want to spend it on a Volt Magnet. Um, at least not right now. So I think we're just going to go for the basic, like, weak magnet, and I think that will probably be fine. So we need a magnetite, and then we're going to need a couple blocks of iron. Just like so. To make our weak magnet core, and then it's just like this. And there we go. That makes our weak magnet core. Now this thing, you can turn it on, and I'm assuming it has durability. How much durability? It has 1,500 durability. So we can pick up 1,500 items. Now the question is, can you enchant this thing with unbreaking? Uh, you know what? It'll probably be just faster to just go grab one from our villagers. Let's grab 13 emeralds. There we go. Because if you can enchant this thing with unbreaking, that would potentially make it a bit more useful. 1,500 items, like, I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not that much. <laughs> um, This guy, here we go. So let's just see. Can I put unbreaking on this to make it last longer? Now, eventually, way down the road, we'll be able to get Botania. Yeah, it looks like it cannot get Unbreaking. Okay, so eventually we'll be able to get uh, the Botania, the mod, unlocked. And then you can make a Ring of Magnetization. And this guy is an infinite ring that will last forever. And the Greater Ring as well. The, the, these are fantastic. Uh, but, like, unlocking Botania is... Well, it's quite a ways away. Like, even right now, with all of the decoration stuff, except for one unlocked, it would be eight research points. So that's a ways off. Um, but in the meantime, I think we will hold on to this guy. I don't know that it's going to be particularly useful until we have Danks. And the reason I say that is because right now... I think the most optimal way to loot vault chests and stuff like that is to open them up and, you know, grab whatever it is you need, right? But once we have Danks, I think you'll be better off breaking the chest and having the Dank just suck everything up all at once, uh, at which point that's when I think the Magnet will be a lot more useful. Right now it just, like, eh, it will serve a purpose sometimes, but I think for the most part we're not really going to use it that much. So, um, we'll just throw it in our vault chest for now, and I'll worry about it later if I decide that, yeah, I do actually want to use this thing. So, eh, still, we have it. That's good. Uh, definitely need to make some potions and stuff before we tackle our next vault as well. Now, looking at crystals, uh, keep in mind, we just unlocked, uh, or we just got an idol that gives us hunger immunity. This guy right here. So, as long as we have that thing, any of these vault crystals that would give us the negative hunger are significantly less bad than they would be otherwise because we, we just don't care. We are immune to hunger. So, uh, easy, frail hunger, that's not awful. Speedy, hard, and hunger. Again, not amazing, but not terrible. Uh, none of these matter. Simple, difficult, easy, daycare, personal space, and furious. And super healing, poisonous hunger. 
That's not, what's inert? I don't actually know what that means. Which one is that? Cooldown reduction. Okay, so you can't use any of your skills, basically. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like out of all of those, the best one is probably the simple one. Where was it? Easy frail hunger. Like this isn't really that bad as far as modify as as far as like um, difficulty stuff goes, because easy is gonna lower the vault difficulty. Frail just makes you take durability damage, which like. Obviously, that's not good because you want your vault gear to, um, you know, last. But at the same time, like, it's not that bad. Like, as far as negative things go, durability damage is kind of the least of my worries. And then hunger we're just immune to. So this seems like a really good vault uh, or a really good modifier to put on here. And then we can toss it back in and just see, is there anything else? Optimistic hard slowed. Personal space and crowded. Optimistic, challenging, slowed. What is optimistic? Is this something I should, like, really care about? Or is this just kind of whatever? Optimistic. Extra vault time. Okay, so this would be, if we went with optimistic, hard, slowed, that would give me five extra minutes in the vault. But we'd have a total of plus 20 vault difficulty, because hard and easy would kind of offset to a degree. And then we'd have slowness. So basically, we're trading 20 extra levels of difficulty and slowness for five extra minutes of vault time. Like, that doesn't sound that good to me. That sounds like very whatever. Um, and the rest of these don't really seem that great either. Safe zone and faster? That could be okay. I mean, you're talking no chests will be trapped, five minutes less vault time. Meh? Maybe? I don't know. Or maybe we just stick with easy, frail, and hunger. Like, I think that's honestly a perfectly fine vault. Uh, we could also make a few more catalysts as well, I think. Actually, we only have four Catalyst Fragments, so never mind. I guess we can't make any more Catalysts right now. Also, why is there a Slime Ball in here? You you belong in here, not in this chest. Um, so yeah, I think this is probably the next vault that we're going to run. But I think we're going to save that for a future episode, my friends, because I'm out of time for this one, so I'm going to call it here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.